down there is Deep Creek. This is in Riverside State Park. We're here to look for leaf fossils uh, from conifers and metasequoias. Now, this is a state park in Washington State. I was under the impression you couldn't actually collect from a state park. I was wrong. Um, I read the whole entire 50-page rules and regulations for what you can do in Washington State Parks. Nowhere in it does it say you can't collect things. So, this is just north of Spokane, Washington a little bit. I'll be putting the GPS directions down below. But that spot right there is where we will be going. So, we're right down in Deep Creek. This is mid-September. You can see some of the cool basalt formations down here. Obviously, this is not a spot that you can go to in the wintertime because, well, it's a creek. Um, I think uh, when we have seen, not this specific area, but this creek flowing, it would be about waist deep on Sarah right there. Um, so, also down here, apparently there's some pastelites. There's some quartz veins with slight green material in it. I have never seen any of that stuff down here. Um, I walked about a mile and a half or two miles down the other way on the creek and didn't find anything. So we've also been here in the early spring and there'll be little po pockets of water like you can kind of see this one right here. And there is a bunch of mosquitoes. At least those aren't mosquitoes. Just uh, jump across. Yeah. Yeah. You can go that way? Yeah. I'm going to go this way. I'm going to fall in the water because I'm trying to hold the camera. Look at all of those. Little, little bugs. I do have a photo of the one good fossil that we have gotten from here. I'll put that right there. And if I think about it, later on in the winter time, maybe we'll come back down here and, uh, well, maybe not in the winter, in the wet season, I'll throw up a private video and I'll link it in this one so that you can see what this is like when it's a running river. Several days of rain, therefore the creek's coming back. There's some fish in there. It's not going to show up on the GoPro, but there's like oh, some yeah, little, really little five inch, six inch fish. Free tire. This sedimentary layer is what the fossils come out of. You can see that, well, we've been down here breaking stuff. Other people have been down here breaking stuff. And somebody was down here relatively recent. You can see a boot print right there. Um, it's pretty fresh. So I'm going to scurry up there. Um, at this spot, you're going to want to have like knee pads, gloves. We're going to be splitting this stuff with an old butter knife and a little paint scraper thing and if you find anything good you're going to want to wrap it up in newspaper bring some newspaper one of what you'll first probably come across here is you'll see that that is a stick nothing too special not worth taking back right there it's very hard to see but that is the outline of a little tiny conifer leaf we are going for something with a better impression this was just sitting on the ground um, but I want to try to get some bigger pieces to look at. And I'll, if it doesn't show up well in the video, I'll take some kind of better photos and post those up in here sporadically.
popped open the rock dap so that you can see the exact location. I'll put that down below. Clearly, you can see some of the veins from conifer leaves, which is pretty cool. This piece was just sitting here. You can see all the layers. Let's see if there's anything else that's good in here. I mean, you gotta think, like, what? This was a pile of leaves came down at the perfect time and then got embedded in sediment. So you kind of get these, it seems like a would be a, a mushy pile of leaves for fossils. You can kind of see right there, that would be some metasequoia. Be nice to get a really good sample to take home, but yeah. it's hard here, you know. Yeah, there's so much like guidance, or it doesn't seem to be much of a. It's not like oh, all the ones from this spot seem to have more in them, or like all the ones that are this color. It's just like get everything, split it open. Yeah, I agree. How's the butter knife working out? Pretty well. Not on this rock. Okay, why don't you try this one? We can trade for a little bit. You can try the little scraper. I'm going with the butter knife. Did you want to use the butter knife? I want to try the butter knife. We can, I want to see how that works versus that thing. That's it. Those. Oh. And that right there. That is really good. <laughs> Why bother breaking stuff when you can just look at what other people have already broken? I mean, what did they find that was better than this? I don't know. Maybe I take this one home? I mean, that's a good that's one. That's a good one. Those are really... I mean, that's cool. I like that one. I don't know why they... Is this... What was special about that? Maybe that was the rock that they were using to oh, split stuff with? Yeah. Yeah, look at that. I think I'm carrying... Maybe this one? Got yeah. Kind of I think I'm carrying this guy out. I should pick it up and it's going to shatter. Maybe I'll yeah. take some photos. Too fragile. We found some. So one thing that I've noticed about this specific area is, well, if you know anything about the Spokane area, everything is basalt. It's all basaltic flows. Um, not even really good stuff. There's no like cool feeder dikes. But specifically in Deep Creek, you'll see some different granitic rocks floating around. Um, Andesites, diorites, things like that there, which is pretty cool. Um, there's also other fossils. We have to go hit up a road cut that I know of that is not in any book. And uh, there's supposed to be brachiopods and trilobites there. So that would be a lot of fun. I worry that this footage isn't going to look very good in the light, but... Um, that would be a fun fun one we should go hit up. It's about 40 minutes from us, so no reason not to go hit it up. We have all the good examples of pieces here. This stuff is like a gray, like that. It's not this, it's not brown. It's not that nice gray, it's like a different. Yeah, it's, it's like black, purple gray. Yeah, it's like this very, dark black gray seems to be the majority of the material that you're finding these fossils in. You can kind of see right here the kind of like the gradient of colors that you can get down here. I mean I think if you split up enough stuff you'd probably find fossils in 
a little bit of everything. But the majority seems to be... It's the, like the black leaf parts. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously this is like little sticks in it. They don't have stuff in it, but for the, the leaves. It's a loud frog up there. Bird, bird alarm. So this is a prize from this little outing. I don't know where it's going to go. Or space for rocks is kind of full. So, but this one can't pass this up. That's pretty, pretty good. Anyways, so this is Deep Creek. This is the type of stuff you can find here. Um, thanks for watching. Subscribe for more rock hounding, fossil, fossil hounding adventure videos, shop stuff, things like that. And uh, hit that bell.